Hey everybody, welcome to the video and here today I'm going to show you how to spice up your multi-man a little bit where you can add some animated uh, backgrounds or a video, whatever, uh, to the XMB or menu of multi-man. Now, this has been around for a while, you've been able to do this, but since over the past year or so, a lot of people have jumped on the PS3 hen thing, I figured this is something that may have been overlooked and I think it's worth kind of revisiting for those of you who don't know about it because it's something that's uh, kind of a little bit hidden. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to convert your video over so that it can play in Multiman. And it also doubles as a screensaver. Now I'm not going to show you how to create and edit a video. That's totally up to you, but I will show you how to convert it over. So whether you're on Hen or on custom firmware, this will work. And technically you don't even need a PC to get this to work. You could just do this really straight from your phone and you can FTP the file into your system. All right, so let's get some housekeeping stuff out of the way first. All right, so first things first, guys, you need to understand that the PS3 in a couple of months will be 14 years old, but that is from its release date. The tech in it is older than that. It's about 15 to 17 years old because it went into research and development before it was released, obviously. So it's limited on resources. When we're talking about adding videos or animation to the background of Multiman, we're talking about small clips. Multiman, when it gets to the end of the video, will just circle back to the beginning and automatically play it from the beginning again. You want to keep these videos small. They should be very small clips. Now there isn't a, I, I don't think a like hardcore guideline to follow, but based on personal experience, your clips shouldn't be more than a few megabytes in size at most. So each clip should be maybe three to five megabytes and that's about it. Also, it can't be larger than 1920 by 1080. And um, yeah, you find a clip you like that is, let's say, you know, a 1080p, and it's like 20 seconds and it's six or seven megabytes, then convert it over to 720 and that should bring it to below that five megabyte thing. Can you have more than a five megabyte clip? Sure, but I've noticed that once it starts hitting that threshold, sometimes you run into issues with Multiman where it starts freezing or working slower or just stops altogether. So keep that in mind. Ideally, you want to have a video clip that's maybe around 15, 20 seconds at most, you want it to be like three or four megabytes at most, and then you should be good. Whether it's 720 or 1080, it should fit within those guidelines. So keep that in mind. Again, I'm not showing you how to edit the videos or make them, just how to convert them and then where they need to go. All right, so with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, and the last thing you need to know, guys, is that these videos, in order for them to work, they do need to be in DivX format. And I know that's an old antiquated format, but I told you guys the PS3 is a little on the old side. Anyway, when you start off, it doesn't really matter what video format you know, you're starting with. Pretty much we're going to convert it anyway, so pretty much anything will work. And you can use anything you want to get them over to DivX. I'm just gonna show you what I use that requires no installation whatsoever. So these two videos are what we'll be using as our examples. There's this one here, which you've probably already seen. And then there's this one here. Okay, and both are 15 seconds or so long. Each one is an MP4, but again, it could be just about any format. So. I'm going to put a link in the description to this site. I think it's called Conversio or maybe Convertio. I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, you can start dragging and dropping your files here. I believe you can do more than one at a time, but for the purposes of the tutorial, we'll just do one. Once your video is here, you can click on this box, go over to the little video section here and click on DivX. Then you can go to settings. And this is why I'm telling you, you could even do this from your phone because here it has some nice basic things you can do. For example, you can uh, select from what part of the video you want to be converted over to whatever other part. So the start point and the end point can be here. So if you have a minute long video and you want to use only, let's say, starting from the 10 second mark to the 30 second mark, you could just put 0000, 0, 0, 0 10 and it'll start at the 10 second mark and then go to 0000. 0, 0, 0, 0, 
30 and it'll stop at the 30 second mark and it will convert only those 20 seconds and when you download it you'll have your 20 seconds so yeah you can um, just use whatever portion of the video you want and then here you can mess around with the settings let's click on high and you can even resize it right here as well which is ultra convenient and usually these bottom ones i don't mess with when you're done with that hit ok you can see the starting size and then once you hit convert it'll upload it it'll convert it and then it will tell you the finishing size and then you can download it and you can check out your progress and everything all right there we go and it's 3.55 megabytes which is good let's go ahead and click on download and it will download the file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one real quick so then we could jump to the next part. All right, so once you've downloaded your files from that site, if you get them from there, you'll notice that they will end in .divx.avi. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rename these and we're just gonna drop the .avi. So let's hit rename and let's delete the .avi part and leave only the .divx extension. Okay, let's just click yes there and let's do the same for the other one. We're gonna delete that and we'll hit yes there. Okay, and now they both end in .divx. Now we just need to rename them properly for them to work in Multiman. Now I think with Multiman you can have up to nine or 10 different backgrounds that you can choose from. So the first one, and let's make this one the first one, we need to call it wave, right? So it's gonna be called wave.divx. The second video will be called wave2 dot divx if you have a third one it'll be wave three and then wave four and so on and so forth and again i think you can have up to nine or ten we'll find out right now all right so now we have these two files here let's go ahead and move them over to the desktop these two are ready to go so let me go ahead and fire up the ps3 and we'll continue from there all right, so we got the PS3 fired up, and normally before I transfer these files over, I check them here on my PC just to make sure everything is okay. And in this instance, I'm glad I did because that second file, the one with the colorful bars and stuff, that one, the DivX wasn't playing right. It was kind of messed up. So um, yeah, it, it didn't work for some reason or another. So I went ahead and I got this um, file instead or this little video clip here. I converted that one over. And now when I play the DivX, you can see it plays just fine. And then the first one with the little pixelated cafe, that one does work. So yeah, these two seem to work fine now. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them over. Uh, I have Webman already up and running, so I've connected via FTP, and I will show you up on the screen where it is you need to put these two files or your DivX files. Uh, so we're gonna go into dev HDD0, then the game folder, then bless80608, which is the multi-man folder, and then USR DIR. And this is where those DivX files will go. So let's transfer the first one, hit OK. And the second one, oh, I need to turn off that notification. All right, so they're both in there. Let's go ahead and turn off FTP, all right? And then we will go ahead and go into Multiman. All right, so let's go ahead and let that boot up. All right, guys, so when you're at Multiman, go to the second column, the settings column, and you're gonna scroll down about halfway to where it says background appearance. Okay, right there. And let's start off with video number two, which is the like smoky wave one, the one I had to change out. Um, that's the wave two dot divx one. So let's go ahead and select that. And there we go. So this is now your background when you um, have the screensaver set up on Multiman and it kicks in, all of the stuff will disappear, but the background video use or clip or whatever, you should still be able to see it. Now, sometimes when you have multiple videos here, guys, and depending on their size, you may not be able to go to the next one and select it. It'll say you have to restart Multiman or whatever, or you might just, you know, have to um, restart the whole system or whatnot. You shouldn't have to, you should just be able to restart Multiman. Anyway, if you're having issues, one of the things you can do is go back here 
pick image, wait a few seconds, and then pick your next video. So let's go here and then let's pick video one. And there we go. All right. So if you're having issues, again, just make the files smaller, make them one megabyte or half a megabyte or make the resolution smaller still. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty picky. Uh, and so remember to keep those files small, but that's pretty much it. That's how it's done guys. So I really appreciate you watching the video and hopefully this helped you out some. If it did, or if you found it interesting, informative or whatever, make sure you hit that like button because as always, that's what keeps me motivated to keep bringing you these types of videos. So as always, much love going out to all of you out there. It's a crazy world, guys. Make sure you're careful. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.